Hey guys, got another new ceiling fan. This is a 52 inch SMC DC52 with stencil blades and a forearm light kit. And this is the version that has the filigree on the side. So I ordered the one in antique brass. And so I got this off of eBay. And uh, yeah, today we're gonna unbox it. This is my first vintage ceiling fan. Here's uh, the side of the box right here. And yeah, pretty much both sides are like the same thing. And, uh, alright, I'm gonna put the phone right here now. And I'm gonna go, uh, just take this out now. Hold on. I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna use a knife for this, but I don't I don't imagine I will have to, but I don't know. You know, I probably should get it just uh right here. Come on. Here we go. And and just uh once again right here. Alright. Well, got that open. Uh, I'm gonna take out the stuff now. And we'll see what's in here. They said it was in antique brass, but I don't know if this looks antique brass to me. But I don't know, maybe it is. This looks pretty light for for uh for polished brass. But you know, actually, you know what? I'll go I'll go show it right now. So yeah, this apparently is the antique brass model. Oh, and this has and this has SMC on the on the switch housing as well, which is pretty cool. But yeah, this this looks a lot more like polished brass than antique brass. But I don't know. I I could be wrong. Maybe maybe SMC's polished brass finish is even brighter than this. But I don't know. I could have sworn that that SMC's antique brass was like like a lot darker. <laughs> Here's uh one of the blade brackets of the fan. Get that out there. There we go. And oh, it even has the uh, screws already in it. And of course, we're gonna have to take them out to, to put it in there, but yeah. This, yeah, this really does not look like antique brass at all to me. I, I don't know. This looks a lot more like polished brass. It, it might be that. I'm just not sure. Maybe just like a Maybe this was just what they, maybe this is just like anti, SMC's antique brass finish. And we got another blade bracket here, which we'll get open in a little bit. We can, uh, oh, we got a glass shade, a flower shade, and uh, yeah, we'll put that there. We got another one gonna be here somewhere. We got, um, we got the switch. Housing. Let's, let's take a look at this. For example, this one. Okay, yeah. As I'm starting to see it now, I can see more of antique brass in it a little bit. It looks like it's a mix of both polished and antique brass. I don't know. So it's kind of that's what was kind of hard to tell. There's the canopy, and uh, I only noticed there was one tulip shade right there. Well, here's the second one. It's supposed to come with four. And hopefully there is four. Now, if you're wondering what that Lego thing is, that's just a phone stand. And I can get rid of that right now. No, wait, actually, you know what? I need to use it right now. Put this here. Right now. So, there's that. And see the pole chain? Oh, the pole chain is not rough at all. So, here's another glass shade, which I'll, which I'll get out of here. I'll put that right there, and uh, then there's supposed to be, oh, okay, here's the other one, okay, so there are four, it didn't look like there was, there was four in the box, but, uh, yeah, there is four, so there's four of those now, yeah, we have that, okay, I'll just put that there, I know, like, the flower shades are, like, outdated, but, 
that's what it came with. And it, it fits the style good for this particular fan, since it is a vintage fan. Here we got the mounting bracket. Uh, we got more blade brackets, which I'll take out a little bit. We've got the down rod here. Got... Wow, this was... <laughs> this was packed terribly. The blade bracket was like, just like sticking out right here. So, yeah. We, we have another blade bracket. Anyways, you can put down in the comment section below if this actually is antique brass. Like, it says it's supposed to be here or if it's polished brass. Because it just looks, it looks like, it looks like polished brass, but it's like a, but like just a little darker. So maybe, maybe this was SMC's antique brass finish at the time, but I've seen it be darker than this before. But I don't know, maybe I'm just seeing things wrong. We got, uh... These nuts and bolts right here. I'll just I'll just put that to the side. We've got uh, another blade bracket right here. So we've got yeah, it's four blade fans. So yeah, only four blade brackets. For a second, I was thinking like, so where's the fifth one? But then yeah, I remembered it was four blade only. Uh, right here we've got uh, the blades, which are stencil. Um, and then just like different color on, which is just, actually, it's just plain on the other side, which I'll, uh, I'll put, put those down for a second. And then, uh, I think this is the final, final thing in the box right now, the motor housing itself. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna go put the phone down so I can take that out. Alright, just get a good... Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry if that was loud. Let's get a good view of of this right there. You can see that. Yeah, I'm really happy to have my first vintage fan. Oh, this is lifting the whole this is lifting the whole <laughs> box out. Uh, I figured this was gonna be harder to get out. The motor housing. I didn't think it was gonna be that hard. And it was already hard enough to lift the motor housing, the Hunter Originals motor housing out of the box. Oh, and this has its pull chain stuck in one of the vents of the ceiling fan. What, stuck in one of the vents of the motor housing. Great. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So yeah, trying to take this out is gonna be really hard. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. Taking out the whole foam is gonna fit. Oh. <laughs> that, that's music to your ears, isn't it? Okay, well, we got the motor housing, uh, let's just, uh, see, I'm gonna set it down right here, it's got one of the, it's got the pull, oh, never mind, the pull chain is unstuck now, unless there was supposed to be, mm, nope, there was no, there was no fob included with this, so yeah, oh, it, there it goes, it's stuck again, I'll just put it, I'll just put it here, okay, uh, so right here is the motor housing, of the fan, uh, as you can see, I'll be taking that off in like a second because I want to test to see if this thing has good bearings or not. I notice uh, one thing I noticed for sure is that this does not have. This is kind of like the Hunter original where it does not have any vents, but instead just holes here, so you can actually see through the motor housing. And uh, yeah, this is a big challenge for me. Uh, here's the top of the motor housing. Uh, let's see. We'll, let's see what. Let's see when, when it says this fan was made. It says... It just says SMC on there. It doesn't... doesn't say exactly... When, um, like, it was made, I don't think. I can't see anything... On there. So, yeah. I don't... I'm not so sure when this one was made. But if I have to guess, uh, it's definitely from, like... With the stencil blades, this is probably an 80s model. And this is a... This one has filigree on the side, and I'm not so sure, but you can tell me if I'm wrong, but is this like, if this might be a Canadian, a Canadian only exclusive with the filigree. I know Max's channel had a video of one of these with, with, um, with the four white light kit and, um, and the filigree, but it was a white and brass version, so I don't, I don't know, maybe perhaps, well, I don't know, I think maybe they did, they did make one, but this one might have just been sold at like, like Kmart or something, I'm, I don't know. You can, 
I like you just say in the comment section below like like where the the version where this particular version of the DC-52 was sold at with the light kit on it. So yeah, uh, we'll be taking uh, some other things out of there in a second. Okay, uh, before I continue taking the screws off, I just found this as well at the bottom. I'm not sure what this is. Also, I noticed there's literally no there was literally no instructions manual on this, but I'm, I might check again. I might check again, but I didn't see any instructions manual on this. I don't know. Maybe these didn't come with one, but I'm not so sure. That's just gonna make the installation a lot harder. But yeah, I'll just take these two off. All right, got all the screws off, and then there was this thing as well. I had to remove. So I'm just spinning the motor, just to check for bearings. Hmm, seems fine to me. But you know, it's clear that this fan definitely is used. I mean, I, unless it's really, unless it really isn't, but I don't know. All I know is that like, I hope this thing works when I install it. But anyway, thanks for watching this video and bye.